Hey there, Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Thursday, August 25th. And uh, today we're talking about creating art and beauty from within as we have a Leo moon that is uh, passing by the planet Venus, the planet of love and beauty and uh, feeling beautiful. So as uh, the Leo moon passes by the Leo Venus, we have this extra energy of expression in the area of beauty, of aesthetics, of things that make us feel good, um, and how we express that, how we put it into art, how uh, we experience it when we see art and when we take in art and beauty. And the moon, of course, is uh, waning. It is heading into the moon, uh, the new moon. So we've got a, a moon crescent, waning crescent moon that's getting smaller each night and to disappear into the dark of the new moon. Um, and I did talk uh, yesterday about Leo and how we are completing this energy of the Leo moon cycle that began on June 28th. And so reflecting back on what you've learned about self-expression and uh, check that out if uh, you want to learn a little bit more about how the Leo moon cycle has unfolded. Um, but for today, I want to focus on this Venus energy because, um, of course, Leo is about creativity it's about how we express ourselves, and that has to do with uh, how we create, how we find energy to move, to share. It's a fire sign, how we're going to share, how we're going to express and uh, move in the world and be seen and have our our own inner beauty radiate out, just like the rays of the sun radiate out through all of those um uh, uh what do you call <laughs> the the reactions that happen uh that create light right the um all those phys physical reactions that are going on with all those little uh molecules and helium and all the different things the gases <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll stop now. Okay, um, so uh, Venus. Venus is uh, what makes us feel good. And so Venus is the energy of feeling beautiful, being recognized in your beauty. Um, it's, it's love in that sense of how we receive, how we are appreciated, what makes us feel good. And so when we're talking about Venus in Leo and a moon conjunct Venus in Leo, it's all about how we move that beauty from the inside to the outside and all those little gas molecule reactions that are happening on the sun, those, those, all that spark is happening inside of you and it's happening in your heart and in your being and in what makes you beautiful because you're unique and uh, nobody else can do the things that you do. So what uh, what is your inner beauty and how does that radiate? And um, sometimes you might not feel like, you know, what you have is worth sharing or shining or being seen. Um, but then think about what you appreciate when you, when you see things in others, when you recognize that they are sharing or shining or people you love, why, why do you, what is it you love about them, right? What, it's something that's unique that, that only they can be, only they can do. And so when you let yourself be who you are, it's really special, right? It, other people get to benefit from your uniqueness, from your uh, comfort with yourself because it allows you to express that beauty of your own internal um, spark that is wanting to be shared and, and seen and recognized and appreciated. Okay, so 
um, both Venus and the moon in that position in Leo are also in a square, T-square, with uh, the planets Uranus and Saturn, which you might recall um, I've talked about quite a bit because we've had the, the energy of the Uranus and Saturn square going on for a couple of years now. And it's putting pressure on us collectively to um, to be authentic, to to create and revolutionize some of our systems and structures, to uh, bring change to our status quo, to our norms. Um, and what could that change look like if we're thinking really positively as opposed to simply radicalizing um, old limitations that that don't really make sense anymore to um, you know, old systems of misogyny, of racism, of of um, old governmental structures that don't make sense, and how instead of radicalizing and um, bringing those forward and clinging to them even more, how can we be creative and think outside the box about <clears throat> what kind of world we really do want to live in and how to create that and what a world could look like when it's truly working for everyone. Um. And, uh, you know, not a Pollyanna thing, right? It's not about everything being perfect all the time. It's about everyone having um, this chance to have basic, uh, you know, pursuit of happiness, <laughs> Bas basic uh, uh, equity in how we run things. And um, and anyway, so, so we have the moon and Venus in that T-square position, activating that ongoing square. That's, you know, what, what's been going on in the background. This moon and, and Venus uh, is temporary. Uh, Venus is only in that position for a few days. The moon passes by within one day. So, um, so we've, anyway, we have this short term, uh, impulse from the planets that is saying, you know, how do you want to express this? What is it that is being shared from your in, inner beauty, inner spark, inner uniqueness, that when you do it, you can um, um, be who you are in a way that supports this bigger collective process of change and uh, env envisioning and imagining new possibilities. So bringing it back to, to your own self-care, have some fun, make some art, think about what creativity feels like for you, how you want to express yourself, play. Um, play is probably a word I haven't used enough because in Leo, we want to be playing because that's how we figure things out, right? Children um, play because they're learning and, and we need to do a lot more of that without the fear of um, being diminished or judged or being wrong, right? Like we just need that freedom to be safe, to play. And that is a really good Leo word um, as we express ourselves, as we uh find that spark and let it radiate out in an expression of beauty that's uh, uniquely yours. So let me know what you're doing today to express yourself, to play, to make art, to have fun, to uh, immerse yourself in beauty, or to uh, focus on beauty. Maybe it's just going uh, and buying some clothing that makes you feel beautiful. Maybe it's painting. Maybe it's singing. So whatever it is for you, let me know. And thank you so much for being here. I will be back tomorrow uh, with more as we are heading into Saturday's new moon in Virgo. And we'll be talking more about what that has in store for us. And thanks for being here. Be sure to hit subscribe if you are enjoying these videos and, um, and check me out at astrologyheals.com if you want to learn more about what I do. All right. Thank you. I'll see you next time.